Okay, so in this video, we are going to install Visual Studio on our Windows system. Now I'm actually using a Windows 10 desktop operating system. And let's actually go to visualstudio.com slash vs. And this is where you can find Visual Studio for download. Now, at the time of shooting this video, I think Visual Studio 2015 seems to be the stable version. However, they are also offering Visual Studio 2017 release candidate for download. Now, for our purpose, uh, we can actually work with the release candidate. Given that, we want to do some basic C programming and then pick up some of the older libraries and use them which have been around for a very long time. So I'm sure that you know the release candidate won't mess up uh, much of what we actually need to do. So we can go ahead, click on Visual Studio 2017 and feel free to download whatever is available at the time you watch this video. Uh, you should be good, right? So we can click on free download now you have the community edition, the professional and the enterprise edition, right? Uh, we could actually go ahead and just use the community edition. And this is pretty much free for open source projects, developers and all of that. So it might just be a good idea to go ahead, download this and use this for our purposes. So let's actually give this a bit. Uh, let's minimize the screen here and let us wait for the community edition to be downloaded. Now, keep in mind that what gets downloaded is really just a stub, right? So as you see, let's click yes. And this would go ahead and download packages which we require. Now, Visual Studio is actually a mammoth IDE with support for so many languages, uh, so many interesting things in there. So we just need to make sure that we stick to uh, what we need, maybe some extra here and there, but if you try and overdo and install every possible thing Visual Studio has to offer, you're probably looking at anywhere between 10 to 20 gigabytes of disk space, if not more, right? So, what we are going to do is primarily pick up what we require. And as I said, maybe a couple of bells and whistles which come along with it. Depending on how much of space you have, uh, you know, on your hard disk and what you have in mind, you can of course go ahead and install the whole deal if you like, okay? So the Visual Studio install screen is now opening up. Uh, definitely looks better than what it was in 2015. Okay, there we go. So you have the universal Windows platform development. If you notice, uh, we have different possibilities we can install. Now, we aren't really concerned at this point about anything else apart from primarily desktop development, right? So desktop development with C++ is really what we primarily need. Uh, you could install other things, as I said, it's just up to you. I'm currently going to stick just to the basics. So we have Visual Studio Plus, Just-in-Time, C++ Tools. Uh, there are a couple of other SDKs as well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much select everything in here, right? Every single thing that we would require for the desktop development with C, C++. Now there are other options with web development, Azure, Python, uh, which seems to be a preview at this point, data science, a couple of other things, right? So then you have mobile development, again, uh, not too keen. Uh, we could include the extensions over here, create add-ons or extension development, let's actually leave that alone. Linux development with C++, Again, I just probably prefer a Linux environment. So let's actually go up here. Here we go, we've set up everything. Uh, you can even look at the individual components if you like. 
you know, just to make sure you have everything you feel you need. For example, you have Git for Windows here. Uh, in case you want to push whatever you create into a Git repository directly. Uh, as you can see, you have Python. Then you even have compilers for ARM. Again, most of this is something we will not be requiring for this course, right? C++ for Android development. Again, you aren't going to be requiring that. So let's leave all of that alone. And you have a bunch of other stuff. Great. Let's go to language packs. Depending on if, if there is any other language you're more comfortable with, you might opt for it. I'm just going to select English. And there we go. Then you can move ahead and install it. Uh, as you notice, this itself says it's going to be a mammoth 11 gig of installation, right? That's quite a lot. So now we are going to be downloading a lot of these packages and then the installation will proceed. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here, allow the installation to finish and then come back. Okay, so now the installation is completed and we can click on launch to launch it. And there we go. Let's do a not now, maybe later. You can create an account if you like. Uh, we will go with the default blue theme. I'm sure a lot of you are going to select the dark theme, uh, but I'll actually go with the default blue one. So let's give it a couple of minutes again. I mean, it should be faster than that. In the rare case, you may get like an installation failed or something like that at the very end. Uh, what I found is even if you click OK, everything seems to be fine. Uh, I've tried repair and all of that, but it, it generally does not provide any useful hints. So I think if the ID launches and everything seems to work well, then you should be good, right? Fantastic. So there you go. We have gone ahead and installed Visual Studio 2017 release candidate. Now we could create a very simple project. So let's click on new project. Now this is going to bring up this option. If you see we have Visual C++, don't worry, we can go ahead and you know write simple C code within C++, uh, you know, kind of uh, this format as well, so there is nothing to worry. Let's select the Win32 console application. And let's just call this quick start. And I'm just going to say, okay. Let's do a next. Now we just go with an empty project and then click finish. Okay, so this actually opens up this little IDE window for us. On the right hand side, you have the solution explorer, which basically contains the directory structure, different important directories like source, resource, header, etc. Now, during the course of this training, we'll be using some of these directories to create some files inside of it. So I'll take uh, it up when it comes, right? Uh, so now let's just code a very simple hello world. So all you have to do is select the source files, right click and say add new item. And this will give you an option between a C++ file and a .h file. So let's just keep the default name source.cpp, that is fine. Let's add it to the project. There we go. This actually opens up a completely blank uh, source code file and then let's actually type this in along with me please 
Okay. Looks like I need to make my keyboard mapping proper. I'm just going to pause the video for a second. Okay, so we're back. Uh, let me actually increase the font size a bit as well so you guys can see properly in the recording. Let me just make it 14. Okay, now let's create the obligatory Hello World program, right? I'm just going to be creating a simple Hello World program. The explanations, program structure and all of that will follow in the next video, okay? So you can type along with me. Uh, keep in mind that in the beginning, it's always a good idea to go ahead and type along. Um, that's what programming is all about. So we have hash include stdio.h and then let's basically uh, create a main function and let's put in printf hello world right and let's return zero I'm going to be doing all the explaining later this is just a quick test that uh, you know you're able to compile you're able to debug and all of that stuff so let's go to build and click build solution So I'm running this in a VM, so keep in mind that uh, depending on how much RAM you've given, this might run a bit slow uh, on a VM. So we can see the compilation has started. And there you go, it says build succeeded, right? Fantastic. Now let's actually go ahead and run this program so to do that all we have to do is click on the play button here there you go you momentarily saw the hello world right if you recall on the screen fantastic now, we'll talk about, of course, programming in in-depth. This is really the basics of how to get started with Visual Studio. So there you go. So we've created a Hello World. And from the next video on, we'll go into the intricacies of the language. So that's all for this video. Thank you.